Hi everyone, this is Ming Yao from Singularity Engineering and today we'll do a continuation of our video series on optical simulation uses, using ANSYS spheres. So this is the model we've been working with. We have a few simple objects, a one polycarbonate lens here, a light source, and uh, last time we did direct simulation with just the iridians sensor. Today we're going to look at a couple of other different sensors. We'll look, take a look at intensity, which uh, allows us to see the distribution of light in a certain distance away from our object. We'll try the human eye sensor as well as a camera sensor. So let's get started. We'll first take a look at the intensity sensor. So intensity, intensity sensor requires us to define an object, uh, a point, so this is an axis system, and then we can specify the x and y directions. So this could be my x direction, and this could be my y direction. Okay, my sensors are turned off so I can't see them. So let's turn them back on. Okay, we'll stop editing them and turn off the iridian sensor. So my intensity sensor is shown over here. I want it to be on the other side. So let's uh, adjust the direction. Yeah, we'll reverse the direction here. Okay, so that looks good. That'll be my Iridian sensor. Then we can do a direct ray tracing here. Okay, we'll select uh, all of the objects we want us to include in our simulation, our light source, and our sensor. So once the objects are set up, uh, the rest of the simulation is pretty straightforward. So we can go ahead and run this analysis. Okay, so we have some uh, low values here. Uh, this is obviously pretty coarse, so let's uh, bump it up to a million rays. All right, getting a little bit more fidelity. Uh, let's do 10 million rays. Okay, so that's the image, the intensity that we expect to see. Right now the sensor is, um, is color metric. We can switch this instead of color. Maybe we want to just look at the light intensity as it falls on the structure, on our sensor. Let's run this again. OK, we can see the effects of the shadow generated by my tube, my cylinder here, the lens effects, and uh, the iridians on the surface. So this is a, a basic intensity sensor, pretty handy for um, judging, figuring out where the light is going. You can also do a light expert to see how the light is traveling to the sensor. The next thing we can do is we can put in a, a human eye sensor. A uh, human eye sensor requires a, uh, a coordinate system somewhere. Let's uh, go home here. So one thing we can do is we can grab one of these existing uh, coordinate systems and move it to where we want the eye to be. So I can just uh, hold down control and drag this out. So we're going to put about a meter and a half away, let's say, from that location. So this will be my human eye. Um, there we go. So this is this is the where the origin of the eye is, and we'll want to put the focal point to be over there. And you can see now ANSYS creates a, a view for the human eye. And that's all we need for the human eye model. With, hum, with the eye model, we can do uh, an inverse ray tracing. This means that it's going to, the rays will start at the eye, and it'll trace its way back to the source to calculate the amount of um, light that falls in on it. And 
Okay, so again, we select the sense, the source, the geometry, and the sensor. Run the, the ray tracing. We should get some uh, results. Okay. So this doesn't look like very much. There is a yellow dot. That's my yellow light that we've turned on. Because it's so bright, it kind of washes out everything else. So to get some more details, we need to put other light sources elsewhere. We can put a spotlight in, or we can put a ambient, maybe a standard overcast sky. Um, give it a particular spectrum, let's say 3500. And the, uh, the z-axis is actually going to be uh, this axis. Right? So uh, the global y-axis will be the z-axis. z-axis is where this, the sky is. So now that we've added a uh, ambient source here, we can add this source in. Oh, here we go. All right, so it adds a source in. Uh, so our settings still all of the objects. Now we have two light sources and a sensor. And we can go ahead and run some simulations. Okay, so what will a human eye see? It'll see an image that looks something like this. We have our uh, lens. Got a couple of objects, including a green one. The outside is a bit yellowish. If we change the frequency of uh, the black body radiation, you'll get um, maybe more more blue or red, depending on how we set it up. So that's a human eye model. Uh, the last thing we wanted to show was a camera model. So we'll, we'll put the camera in a different direction. Uh, let me grab my. my corner system. Maybe I should hide a few of these things so we can actually see it. So if we're not going to use the human eye anymore, we can hide this results. Then it makes it, oh, let's hide this too. Now oh, here we go. Right, I need to move this box, this corner system. Uh, we could have created coordinates from, from anywhere, but I'm gonna, just going to kind of drag it about a meter away. So let's say we, we put a, a camera about a meter away. Um, I should have hold, held down the control key. Okay. Oh, now I have an extra one. Just hit the delete button to get rid, rid of it. So this is our camera. Um, let's go back to the light. So we have a LiDAR system and a camera system. So this will be the camera. And we'll have an X, Y direction. So this will be my X direction. This will be the Y direction. Um, then we can put in some information for the camera. So. You can go on to the Spios library to download a number of cameras. I'm going to put a sample one here where we define the transmittance as well as the distortion of a particular camera. And we'll assume that all the lights get through, so everything will be 100% transmitted. Then we can see what the camera sees. Okay. Oh, I have two cameras now. Let's, uh, let's delete the first one. Okay, so a camera has a certain resolution. Right now it's uh, 640 by 480, so I'll increase this a little bit. And we can choose whether we want a color camera or a black and white. Okay. And that's going to be the the field view of the camera. So let's uh let's turn back on my sky. 
and we'll do a, another inverse simulation. So all of the objects, uh, the two light sources I want, and our camera as the sensor. Okay. So that's it for the simulation. You can see there's a little picture of what the imager in the camera would see. Namely, something like this. Uh, we have our cylinder here, the box, which is somewhat reflective, the light source, and the lens, a polycarbonate lens. Uh, it's obviously not very clear, so we can adjust a few things here. For example, uh, we can adjust the size of the imager, the, the focal point. Oops. There we go. Uh, the size of the sensor sensitivity, the wavelength, and obviously the optics. So what if we do a 20 millimeter focal point instead of a five? All right, so now we are zooming in to this area of, uh, of the image. Uh, same resolution, so we should get a more clear result. Okay. So you can see more clearly some of the interesting things that's happening in the lens itself. Um, and obviously as we increase the number of rays, there's an option to uh, number of iteration, number of passes to, to do this, these type of imaging simulation. We can increase the number of rays, adjust the material properties and uh, adjust my camera information to get more accurate and clear prediction of what the camera will see at this location. So we have a, in this short video, I've shown a few things here. We've added a overcast sky to our scene. We can try to simulate the intensity for, some, for a source, but also look at what a human eye would see and what a camera would see. And you can see all of the options available for the camera, and this can be downloaded from the SPIELS website or you can assign it based on your um, camera, camera setup. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let us know if you have any interest in optical simulation using this type of uh, non-sequential ray tracing from ANSYS SPIELS. Uh, our website is www.singularityeng.com and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and have a good day.